what's poppin y'all this is one of probably the top two top three conversations that we're going to have this week which we've got a lot man i've got a lot of stuff queued up so man if you're enjoying the consistency give me a comment with anything uh you could say something you could just drop an emoji because i know a bunch of you guys kick it and you like the stuff you enjoy it and you just don't comment and that's fine because sometimes you're like oh, i don't really know what to comment just drop any comment and it could be one emoji whatever oh that'll probably be dropped as spam but the reason why i find this conversation so entertaining between check west and yay is i'll talk about how it started i'll probably drop this video before i drop the one that contextualizes what yay was talking about in the ig post but yay put up a post on ig that was pretty much saying that he talking bigging himself up okay summing it up and check west comments on the post and says you stole my whole cadence flow beat tempo to get number one you delusional and you ain't check in with the buzzins you really bugged out and some people started coming at check west for this and they're saying yo travis get your mans how did check west end up in this conversation etc etc the reason why i take this as something i should accept and talk about and not just dismiss it is because how often do we see check west come at anybody and I re-listened to Carnival, and I don't know if I listened to Carnival and Mo Bamba one after the other enough times. I only did it once, but I wouldn't say like Ye took everything. However, Carnival is a hundred percent Sheck West energy. It's a hundred percent Mo Bamba energy. Like if Sheck West was on that song, it would make sense, and perhaps he was on the song. We don't know. One thing that we do know is Rich the Kid was on the song, and Rich the Kid said he helped make the song from scratch, so Rich the Kid would know the answer for this. But Sheck West isn't saying he got removed from the song. Another thing is, like I briefly mentioned, Sheck West doesn't really come at people. You don't really see him beefing with people. He rarely drops music. He's doing performances. I don't really know what he does on a day-to-day. -day. And he's kind of kicking it. He doesn't come at anybody. He's doing his own thing. And the reason why there's even more validity to this is everyone associates Sheck West with Travis Scott, which is understandable. He is Jack Boys. He's signed to Cactus Jack, or he was signed to Cactus Jack, and they've had the project together. Travis Scott really, really helped put him on and take him to that next level, bringing him on tour and everything like that, putting him on albums. But you guys got to remember, Sheck West was also signed to Good Music. And I think he might have been signed to Good Music before Cactus Jack. It was a joint thing, but he was discovered and put on Good Music. So it was joint between Good Music, Jack Boys, and Interscope. So Sheck West was working with Ye. Ye had him on his label. This isn't some sort of alternate universe. Oh, where did Sheck West come from? No, Sheck West has been in Ye camps, has been working with Ye, working with Travis, and he's had experience with Ye. Which is why I think he has a point, too, where he says, you delusional. Uh, that's the only thing I completely agree with. The other stuff, I would need to hear his reasoning for it, which I don't think he's going to give it. I already gave you my opinion. It does have that Sheck West energy. So perhaps he was consulted about a song and it just didn't come about. Maybe he didn't get the credit that he wanted. However, one thing Ye did do was he posted Mo Bamba on his story afterward. And some people, this is something I really love about Ye, how he just did this, is you can either interpret it as, oh, shoot, he's, you know, showing love to Sheck West. He doesn't got a problem with him. He didn't go off on Sheck West. He would usually go off on anybody else saying, hey, you know, I signed you. I did this and this for you, which I don't think Ye did. In no world could Ye say that he made Sheck West or he really, really put Sheck West or he blew Sheck West up, right? Maybe you put him on the map. He gave him a couple of looks. Perhaps people in the industry got in touch with him that way. I don't know too much of the details of Sheck West's history. But Travis Scott, if he were to say that, it would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. So it could be interpreted as him shouting the song out, showing him love. Or as some hating fans in the comment sections of Instagram have said, oh, he's saying he's only got this one song. Which is a fair take for the majority 
But I think Sheck West has got at least two songs. Like for me, it's Live Sheck West, Die Sheck West. But I don't even think that's uh, one of his biggest songs. But yeah, he was on the Gang Gang song too. But if you're talking solo songs, I would say it's Live Sheck West and Mo Bamba. Those are like the ones he came in and pretty much knocked the door down in the game. And I said I like the song that he did, Fly Away, on the Lyrical Lemonade album. But this isn't about that. Circling back to the point of Ye, I do think Ye is off his rocker right now. He's he's so high off of this number one. I I don't know if he's in disbelief or if he's on some, yeah, I knew this was going to happen. And now that I got this number one back, which he's not number one anymore, that wasn't a fluke. It would be dismissive to say that it was. But it was a good storm of right time, right place, right TikTok when everyone else is unable well, the majority of other people are unable to publish on TikTok and have their songs spread. And an amazing song. I really, really enjoy that song. I don't get how some people say, yeah, you know, that song is not all that. That is an anthem type of song. And I like how global it is. If you think about it, soccer, football, we got to Americanize things here. So I can't call it football to all the UK peeps watching and pretty much everyone in every other part of the world this is a song that you play at stadiums this is a song that people play when you know like football players come out and that's part of the reason why i think yay is everywhere in the world but the u.s right now i mean he did do his a couple of his las vegas rave party i think he did one in miami i don't know if he did one in la he did one in New York or a little bit outside of New York, east of New York, probably closer to Long Island. So he did touch down here, but he might also have an easier time getting venues outside of the U.S. because he said he was having a hard time with everything that happened in the past year and a half or so. Despite him again, somewhat apologizing, getting back in people's good graces. Yeah, I want to hear more about how Sheck West felt that this song was jacking him and how he would have been happy about it. Because I think if Ye was... Cause keep in mind, Sheck West didn't come out of nowhere and say this when Carnival first dropped. He didn't say anything when Carnival went number one. He didn't say anything until Ye started going off. So he 100% knows something that we don't, and there had to be some sort of moment that ticked things off for him to say, okay, man, I've had enough. It's time for me to speak my piece and give my comment on the entire situation, which doesn't really take us anywhere since we don't have all of the details. It just leaves more questions up in the air, which gives us great discussion points. If we knew the background of everything, it wouldn't be as fun and it wouldn't be as interesting because a lot of times things are way simpler than we make them out to be. So it's better that we don't know everything. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.